It's 666! 666! Oh, and it walks only once. Flip the money! I've recently found my clipboard. <clears throat> no! Someone just sent me two bucks. I'm not telling you, Bob. It's not your fucking business. Now in the Yukon, there was three cases. I may got back from that case. But the thing is, Bob, you do a lousy job in the research. You notice as go what they say. Let me want some facts about taste and smell. And something you probably learn in school. And also the word normal. What is your class in normal people? Well, I'm not. By the way, I'm wearing yellow because it's the color of the country. The late Kenny was. He passed away. But, other hand, remember, smokers lose the taste buds over time. When they get on with the cannabis, some people like, I don't have no, no teeth, you can send paper, but I'd say it could taste. But then again, those people, speaking of spell, put so much perfume, you can't tell. And, like, imagine yourself in that place, you are so used to the smells of your cat, your white beard, since you sit so close, you get used to it. So how you can't tell that you can't smell anymore. Hmm? And another thing. There's some people who lose their smell because of disease, accident, or they just so used to one smell, they can't not smell nothing else. Same as taste. There are tasteless foods out there and so forth. If you have some kind of accident or, or disease that you can't taste, some medication makes you have tasteless. Yes, Bob. I found out when I became a diabetic, a tomato soup was the greatest thing. Now, if I'm opening a can of tomato soup, it's that damn too sweet. Because my diabetes has changed my tongue. I cannot stand, but you yeah, have, because I used to grew up with tomato soup, you know, after school with some cheese in it, I mean, lunch time. So, over time, you get used to it, and then it become bad. Oh, you became a diabetic. What you like it now it becomes so sweet you cannot stand it. Other tomato stuff I could stand, but somehow my tongue is more ten sensitive to the sugar. I don't know if that's an odd thing or a common thing. So if I ever drink tomato soup and it tastes no taste, then I'm worried. I mean, science. The people who, who smoke mint, you know, or catnip, or eat hot food, have that numbing taste. I cannot taste because I, I, that part is rum. It's a different story. And don't forget, people, too. What is the norm of this is the bass song? Hmm? They are normal or you're normal? And besides, I don't trust you as today because one by Fox. Fox is fake news. And the other one you brought up, I never heard of it until now. See, here in Canada, we trust good old CBC. We're going to start of it. And our newspaper. 
because we learn to the fake news that anything we are welcome to our new people or the Vancouver Sun or Edmonton. No Canadian site so far has said the same thing as that the USA. And besides USA today have the biggest fake news thing. And guess what they land on? On um, places that you listen because it's truth of the Jesus news. And besides, also remember, we get old. We lose our senses too. And sight and so forth. It's been how old you are. And how much you believe. Yeah, we should. Yeah, it's safe so, but hello, remember in school when we they uh, tell you about taste buds, smells, and all that? Again, you probably fail science because you beloved the Bible. But as a person who remember I'm just going to check for sure, the science behind it. Because if we pay attention to your medication, the side effects, oddity. Well, you've been sucking on the the a lollipop so long you get used to it. Then you think I'm talking about the big ones. If your stinky cough of coffee begins to change plan, are you sure the beans don't go old? You have smells, huh? I have smells. Once more a friend comes in here and say you need to you know change this and change that. I'm used to this um, smoke. But when someone walks in, they smell this as more smoky than I. You know, I can, you know the true fact, you cannot even smell your body odor because you get used to it. So, if you're used to a, a smell and it, you know, you can't smell because it's in your brain, how can it tell you something is coming? Same as your taste bud. You have need perfect smell and taste bud to actually claim that is true. Now I read a study, someone claimed that if you get red eyes, you know, around your eyes like affection. Bob haven't mentioned that one yet. But this is Canadian. So, the problem is, when you get a cold, I'm just I'm all, just getting over a cold. Nose plug up, unless your mouth breathes like me, you can't smell nothing. So, yes, it is the cousin of a cold, but the explaining when you begin to the, can't smell it because that's one of the basic thing of this cell cause. You can have stuff he knows. How do you know it's not the stuff he knows that and same as codes. Flu and cold play around your taste buds. This, since it's in the same family, does too. Most people at first before go big before they go to the doctor, think they have you had the flu or, or the, you know, or something else, and they know them. Um, basic people again, science and video study things out here affect our, you know, codes too. The reason we cannot breathe. Yeah, you show you blow your nose a couple of times, then you try. Usually, I cannot smell something. I know it's the first sign of any cold or a flu. The same as this. Is it? It's just like you're so used to it until now. Before you catch this one, you used to have the system. You know, you know this doesn't work. This doesn't work during a flu or a cold. And this happened. But that time you just forgot about that little fact. And because of that, 
live that. Most people f forget. I'm the type of person who actually pays attention to science class. I watch Discovery. And all those weird time science stuff, Bob. Not Fox News. Science tells me different. Science tells me there's other things may cause it. So I have to go through my head to think what it is to me to stop smelling. Is it the next day neighbor walking down, you know, my gay neighbor walking down the hallway smelling of roses? Every Friday night? You can buy that song, ah, ah, can't smell nothing. I know I'm having fun over this, Bob, but you, you believe in a news thing called Truth News on a web page on the internet. Remember the first rule of the internet? Don't trust everything you hear. Until CBC, our government station. Yes, Bob, CBC, we pay the government to control us. Our friends will say, what do you mean? We you hear all those rumors about governments taking and controlling, you know, a lot of sci-fi and hi-fi stuff, saying someday that would be happening. Well, we have it here at CBC, but at least our CBC is not like China, Washington, that's really sensory. But they pay the bills anyways. See what I mean? It's kind of, I've been reading some hi-fi, wi-fi stuff. Eh, what to do? It's it, it just like, no, it could be that. How do we know? We don't know. And that's why I trust science more over God these days. If it's, you know, you guys are thinking it, right? And, all, and I've noticed you became rude again. Pick heaven means in Canada, you're stupid. Thick scar, the same thing. But no, Bob, you have to mention that. If you didn't look up the judiciary, a flying words, and I'm going to use those words. I don't have to go on the internet. I have the big book of words to tell me what a word is. Oh, no, it's like the local slang around here. You thick head asshole. That's how we use it. Thick heart? If I have a thick heart, I, thick heart, I would die. And I just say there's three cases now. I just was walking in the in the store and looked down to the newspaper. One start. We have two local newspapers here, Bob. So both of them said the same thing. We have three people. Now, if that's going to be the first of uh, that news, what you just said, it should be the front page news about this, not a, a, a fact. So, if I want to go listen to the natural, that's our CBC news, if they mention that, then I believe them. But like, remember, Bob, there's so much fake news down in the United States. I trust my, we don't call it CDC, oh, I trust Health Canada. If Health Canada says something like that, then I pay attention. I've been paying attention to the, the government over news when it comes to this. I got a little link coming, you know, from Health Canada, almost every day I have to my computer say, go to update to the government website. See? It works. Because the government, our government, is much better than the, you know, Trump at the moment. And we know from experience, from the last bastard disease that have been hitting us since 2000, 
He caught it wet. Uh, this week, our local news um, paper will put something on YouTube about a meeting from our government health people. See, you always have to have government. Not buy some unusual, unused, ungovernment guy from USA today. I trust the government. I mean, if the government tells me this, not some random study, then I believe it. So you have to show me government paper from Health USA, I think that's how, or USA Health dot gov, then I believe it. Not some newspaper article. They, because there's so much Pomegranate fight, you know, needs to fighting you over this. You can't like, really? I'm just asking my friend who has it over the phone. Because our news and our government is completely different. You know, Canadians have to tell the truth as how honest we are. I have to clean this because it smells like mold, paper mold. This one's okay. Yeah, two bucks. Now, as I say, a friend sends me this. So, let's see if the myth of giving it to money. Because it just sent before doing disease from one sick person to a healthy person. If I cast anything, at least I know I'm going to catch most of one of them. I have to get rid of the mold. I found some vodka. Let's see if that works. But still. And also I bought some lunch and meat from Japan yesterday. And so far, none. Because some people say it's from food. And then some people say, it says to 30 days on something. You know, anything you touch. Stay in there for 30 days. Why at the spot? You know, this wind always blow. There's always rain, something wash it off from outside. It's it just that type of thing. See, good to know it's flowing around, but where? You have wind, you have temperature. This is why here, Jamaica, Alaska, I have a few about 400 in, in, in Alaska. We have only had three. It should be higher, but most of the Western people and Yukon people are ready to go out and check out trap lines and go spring hunting. That's usually lasts up to whenever you catch your moose. So right now they are getting ready to go and do getting ready for the fish and the salmon. So most of the people from the north and BC will be hunting and trapping. Right now it's the end of the fourth time. They're going to be really going to catch the local cold. And then you get all the people who stay inside, never go out because they hate winter. And for people like me who hate winter, Go out in the spring and walk like 10 miles and breathe in all that nice cold wind. Oh, yeah. I, I know. Maybe I'll try this or our plastic money. Yeah, plastic money. I'm glad we have plastic money because it's easier to clean because it's plastic. Remember how to clean this, this, this one is very wrinkly, this one here, and you notice it didn't come up. How many washes that the damn thing been going out? Well, it, it began to fade away. This is Australia, Mexico, and everybody started because, let's say you go to the beach and you got milk and money. Get wet, and you want a hot dog, and the hot dog costs two bucks. 
You can't give him a lot of money because he didn't count all of it. And you know it got about $1,000 out so. In once. Plants for money, you just, yeah, I'll dry with a nice cloth. And the other reason why this one got more, because many dollars, it's because it's fresh and all that, get mold by being out too. So this one had been alive outside, this one with no, no mold smell, it had been alive inside. And remember, every water smells different. Canadian money, yes, we do have a precipitation on it, but we don't have one that smells like weed at the time or dope. It's getting oh, over 20 minutes. Because I want to talk more about science today. Yeah, I have one joint. Being being higher, higher like this, I see I'm a very sensible human being. It says for Bob that go check here, check here, go check without going and then go straight to the Bible. Not to the science book or anything else. That's what the nice say science say. What about the Canada one? UK and all that. I'm telling you all the rules from all the science to tell me the truth to the government health places. Yeah, I know you hate that. Oh, by the way, Bob, now we have to use our credit cards, not our bank cards, and that means your little thing about money and the number 666, it seems to come in true. Like they're over here in the pen, that will open one lane for money and the other lane is for your cards. Yeah, something in 1984. And now you've been lined up out superstore. It's like, I am not going to shop in a big box place. You see this line? Because that's a big place in there. It's something like two or three warehouses. I'm, I'm, Walmart is the same thing. Now they have lines. Ten feet. Usually it's very short on opening day. Now it's like, you get your cart, you a little grinding kid, the outside of the cold, the kid's whining, you in a hurry, and then you find out you, you left your card home, but you have the money and they're not going to take it. 1984 over again. One of the two dope places here, because I don't use cash. Now, at April the 3rd, April the 3rd, here, if they're going to have a kiosk, they've got two kiosks in the waiting room, or mail it, or pay it through the internet. I'm glad I have two to replace because if I go over there and see this, then the same thing. But then I have to line up at the liquor store to buy some brews to forget about this. There's marks in some of the um, stores like for the way. Yeah. It's selling, um, Flowers are two bucks. Yeah, uh, it's just, I guess because e uh, nobody's going to buy the easy whatever, you, you know, you have, uh, I guess the shipment came in just, and it was a beautiful smell and all that. Two bucks for five. Ooh, eat your hell up. We recently got big old of grapes in it, just like, you know, and banana. Nice and right. So many of them over there on that store, they have bargains. <laughs> it's just like the post office now, I have shut in time. In the mall, the two 
more um, ones. Some idiot in the United States said, Biologists, the male people was, would be affected. You outside walk and you have a bunch of animals. How that happened? I don't have someone cough at you when you're living the mill. You always go spray nice mail tenant on the postcards or something. Or letters. We can then see that the government is going to bend and kind of you can't because the one of the rules in the U.S. Constitution forbids this. I'm going to be by someone. I know. Really? This is really, really getting so stupid. It's from what the Christ said in his book and God. By the way, Bob, I found that normal people are Christian people like you. I'm not normal. I better let you guys go. But remember, Bob. I'm not normal in or in your head. Normal people is people like you, your type of Christian, who want to take over the world. Those are normal Christians. You, not all of us. And don't be mean to China. Bye.